Hi folks, it's uh, Nick here. Welcome to another Commodore Amiga review, and this one is a tennis game, as you can see, called Tennis Champs, uh, developed by Mental Software and published by Amiga Power as a cover disc in 1995. Now, I struggle to believe this, but apparently this is coded in Amos, and eventually this was picked up and re-released uh, with a lot of add-ons, um, I think programmed in Blitz Brasic, uh, as Super Tennis Champs, which we might come to at some point. But this was a cover disc, unbelievably. Uh, now, we've reviewed other tennis games, a Passing Shot by Imageworks in 1989, Pro Tennis Tour 2, which is my favourite, by Blue Byte in 1991, and Tennis Cup by Laura Ciel in 1989. So, this looks a bit more cartoony. This is my first go on the thing. Oh, Ayrton, I'll probably uh, pick him, Ayrton Centre, but let's see who else is available. Now, there's different shots to perfect on this, and I understand it's supposed to be quite tricky, and I struggle with tennis games anyway. If you saw the review of passing the shot, I might have scored a few points. Let's see if I score any points at all on this one. But yeah, it's a cover disc. I think this would have been pretty good. But 1995, let's see how the thing plays. So we're in a tournament straight away. I'm Ayrton. I Ayrton. Uh, let's go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Right. Now, this isn't about expert gameplay. I'm down the bottom there. Let's see if I can serve it Fold. out. Right, okay. So I need a bit of time in here. Fire button, throw it up. Fire button there. Mm, this is starting quite well. Yeah, not about expert gameplay. It's about seeing how you'd have got on the game. Fold. First, second go. Now, how can I serve? Maybe I need to hit it a bit later on. Fold. Two double folds to start for me. Oh, God. Love 30. Um, it looks quite nice, doesn't it, really? Fold. Oh, man. Right, this is this is going to be a very short review if I can't even get it in. Right, that's better. And he returned it, and I'm out straight away. So maybe I should start say where I am. My favourite tennis game on the Commodore Amiga is, of course, Pro Tennis Tour 2, because that's instant and playable. Right, so I'll try some smashes and lobs and all that sort of stuff. I'm up the other end now. It could be trickier. At least I've hit it back. Yes. Come on, Nick. Oh, man. The computer opponent is a bit good, but I am a newbie noob. Now, if you had this one back in the day, this or Super Tennis Champs, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll have to have a look at Super Tennis Champs. Apparently, uh, on this engine, it, although it's reprogrammed in Blitz Basic, I believe it gave you doubles as well and two-player option. Here, you just got, um, I think, standard uh, tournament mode and practice mode in one player. Now, I do like the crowd noise coming in and out and two games down. Come on, Nick. So let's just see if I can win a game. You can see on the top right there, it says Mental, who developed this thing. And I've been knocked all over the shop. This uh, this person is, uh, the computer opponent, is pretty good. Oh, come on. Just throw me a throw me a freaking bone here, as Dr. Evil would say in Austin Powers. But there's not an Austin Powers tennis, as far as I'm aware. If there was, it would be absolutely amazing. Well, there isn't. If you know of Austin Powers Tennis, then let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you're liking your Commodore Amiga stuff, you might not necessarily know about this one, uh, then they are in a playlist. Click on my username, take you to the channel page, click on the playlist tab, Commodore Amiga will be there, along with a load of other systems. Time recording, we've almost reviewed 600 Commodore Amiga games. Yes, there we go. What can you do? Public domain, mainstream, everything you can get hold of. Uh, this is this looks quite good. It plays quite good. Now, arguably, um, it's going to take a bit of practice on this one, but people who put in the time might get quite a bit out of this because it does look quite cool. Mega Power on the top right there. Logo, the magazine. There's a cover disc. Yeah, not sure it would have got too much play uh, because, well, not for me anyway, because I weren't good straight away. And as a kid, if I weren't good straight away, I generally didn't put the time in. But um, some people would have done. And uh, what you have underneath the hood of this is probably quite an accomplished tennis game. Have you seen any reviews of tennis games that I do? Um, I struggle to get points in any of them anyway, right the way from Droopy Tennis on the Game Boy Advance to the Andres Agassi Tennis on the Mega Drive and everywhere, including Match Point on the ZX Spectrum. I do like seeing them though. I do like seeing these tennis games. Right, I'm five love down. Have I won a point yet? No. Come on, Nick. Win a point. Win a point. Oh, look, I won a point because he knocked it out. So look at that. Love 15. Could this be the comeback? Yes. Oh, man. We're on a grass court here, so maybe this is Wimbledon. Tennis champs. It's the Open, 1995. I'm hitting it back, but his returns are something something awesome. I'm really struggling to get the returns back in this oh. at all. Yes, so tennis games, just same. We've reviewed a few, but, and most recently passing shot. My favourite is Pro Tennis Tour 2, or something's been great, Courts 2, and Tennis Cup by Laura Shell. That's um, That got a lot of play for me as well. Oh, 
goodness. Ten passing shot gave you different angles each time. Is that me lost? Yeah, there we go. Six games to love. I think I won a single point. Uh, beaten by Fumio. Well, we'll have one last go on this thing. See if I can get the hang of it. But it would have had these people that like the thing. And it's a good front end. I'm still struggling to believe this is programmed in Amos. It seems a bit more advanced. It's one or two players, but you can have four players on Super Tennis Champs, the Evolution, which was released later on the same year. So it got picked up quite quick. Which it would seem to be that this got submitted as a game um, to the um, uh, Amiga Power and the magazine. And they... they and they quite quickly thought this is too good and could be a commercial lease and make a bit of money. So they put the word super on it. Now we're on the clay court here, or is it mud? Uh, I hope it's not sand. The ball don't melt well on sand. Right, I, I choose to a different character this time round. Here yeah, they got different skills, but I seem to be able to serve better. There we go, and I've won a point already. 15 all. Right, okay, let's go. I've got plenty of games beyond this. Yeah. Um, let's... I need, I need to stay where I am, really. These, these returns, as the last person, are pretty special. But it's, it's got good, uh, good. Um, what am I trying to say? Physics. There's good ball physics on there. Fold. Hit the hit the ball too late, and you're going to knock it out every time. You need to do it but too early. You need to do it. Oh man! I'm getting my butt kicked here. It's David. That's me versus Sinex. Sounds a bit like a tissue of that Kleenex. Anyway, seven X and Kleenex. If you've actually won lots of sets on this, let me know. Um, tell me, is it worth persevering with getting your skills? You might have played, you might play tennis champs, or you might have bought Super Tennis Champs because that's a pretty good name. With a name like that, it sounds like a game that should have come out on the Super Nintendo. Uh, if it with the word Super on it, uh, there you'd think it was there. But anyway. Right, I'm getting gradually better and he's knocked into the next. I've already won two points, so I'm 100% up on before. 40, 15. Don't ace me. Oh, gear. If only I could have smashed that down to the right, that might be a way to go. So maybe rushing the net's a good thing to do. But anyway, I'm serving this time. Not dinner or tea or chocolate cakes. I'm just serving in tennis. No ball boys or ball girls in this game. It's just someone holding the net. That seems like a good job. Double fault, oh man. No foot faults in this. One of the annoying things of, um, uh, I think it was a passing shot I played, or one of the games, it's um, you know, uh, when the ball hit your body, body shot, something like that. That was blooming annoying. One of them anyway. Oh man, I'm losing games pretty quickly. You never see a tennis match lost this quickly. Come on, Nick, come on, let's get a bit better. Yes, yeah, so as I say, dodgy gameplay, nonsense, Chad. Uh, we're playing the game as you would have done in your first second go. We've just read the magazine, we've loaded this up, and we like it, but we're frustrated that it's, it's so, so difficult. Pro Tennis Tour 2 is a lot easier uh, than, than this game, I must admit, but uh, it's, it isn't as cartoony as this one. The players are slightly bigger. It's uh, more of a... this is a, more of an angle. 4-0. Uh, each set is uh, best of six, as you expect in tennis. Come on. Oh, oh man, come on. I hit that back. Perhaps it bounced twice. You can opt to have three sets, but uh, practice makes perfect. As a first go, I suppose I'm knocking the occasional one back. Uh, I'm getting the occasional point, but not a huge amount of points. So, but I'm being run all over the place like a super newbie, newbie noob. But yeah, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have ditched. I would still would have played Tennis Cup and Pro Tennis Tour too, but only because they're more instantly playable. Um, as I say, this one could be more rewarding if you put in the time and a pretty addictive uh, too. Oh. Yes. Tell me what you think about the game. You don't always have to agree. Not this this video, but all videos on YouTube you don't necessarily have to agree with everything that's been said by the person. But uh, it's all about different opinions. Nostalgia in terms of these games has a lot to do with. If you didn't have too many games and just had this, you would have played it quite a lot, I'd imagine. Fold. 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 We won't have another go after this. Well, we might see it. But uh, different characters, though, which is good. Uh, quite often, a lot of the other tennis games I mentioned would be quite generic uh, characters. Here it's like different opponents, so that's, that's interesting. It goes a different way in that regard. It's like you can hit the balls at different angles, you get in the right place. It's match point to him. Fold. Hopefully, he double faults. This would be a good match to win from here. But he aces me predictably as so. Yeah, there we go. I lost six love, six love, both games. So I hope you'd like to have a look at that one. As I say, it looks good. 
very, very difficult, maybe worth persevering with. Tennis uh, people into tennis uh, might have got a bit more of this than, than me. So it's, it's like, OK, but I wouldn't have played a great deal because of the other tennis games available, which are easier, and that's more detriment to me than the, the game itself. So that was Tennis Champs on the Commodore Amiga, published by Mental Software and Amiga Powers, a cover disc in 1995. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then by all means, put that in the comment section below. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. I'm getting my butt kicked here. It's David, that's me, versus Sinex. Sounds a bit like a tissue. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious!